Is he actually gonna help us out? I thought he's gonna like take care of these guys. Quinton, I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Go on then. Propose. You'd have me convince the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. I know it's a lot to ask, but I can think of none better suited to the role. And you'd have me give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family, and I cannot abandon them. You'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so am I. And why might that be? What he's asking? How's it any different to what you've done so far? They want you to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what you do best. <laughs> if it's the vineyard you're worried about, we'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. It's not that. Then what is it? You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's not what I'm... Then what are you saying? That only we are worth saving? Why turn your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves, and if you can do that, who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm? A stirring argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? <sighs> Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. He's currently in Port Isolde. I can arrange for a party of Cursebreakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. Damn. Where's his uncle? Where is this bastard? What the fuck? I have another side quest here? Where? Who? Child of error. Wait, what the fuck? Ah, fuck, I have a message. Tell me what it is. Where's my uncle? Return to the hideaway. Oh, I have to go to the hideaway. God damn it. Give me a sec. I gotta go to Walu and fucking go find these bastards. All right. Where are you? You're over here. Any, any other? No. Is there a boss in that area? the fuck is this oh it's a challenge it's a challenge thing I don't want to do the challenge so is there a boss here yes that's an open space there a giant open space right here is there a boss here oh there is there is fuck God damn it! There was actually a boss here! I knew it was open, dude! <laughs> Alright! Look who's here to meet us! Pity they don't seem fond of visitors. Just... 
have a chance. Do I get uh, like a recipe? Is that what I need? <laughs> I think that's what I need but to make the, the belt. I think that's what I need. <laughs> I must be lucky. Holy shit. Is my bird like Torgal? He, he, that he could, that she has like a different transformation like Torgal, like he, she, she could transform. Okay, she's fine in this fucking. Wait, is he? Yeah, his bird is doing the same thing. Okay, never mind. Oh, maybe they're both. Both are special. Both could transform in, like some kind of mini icons. Like Torgo. Might this be Nickelback? These people aren't turned. And the village seems safe enough at least. What is going on here? Ah. Did you too heed the call? Heed the call? No, I... I came here looking for someone. To be honest, I... 
I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Hmm, is that so? What are you doing here? Is this... where you live? It is my home. The others, they... they heeded the call. You keep saying that. What do you mean? They came here to perform the rite, just as King Barnabas instructed. This village is their altar, where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. Give themselves? Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. They want to be saved. Forgive me, but did another foreigner like me come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the Traveler from Stone? Yes. He's staying at my house, toward the rear of the village. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. Salvation? At least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him. I, I don't think he's alive. I think this bastard fucking killed him. Or is it a trap? Or maybe he's one of them now. I don't know. Well, I know is he's. I I think he's lying. And he's in his own at his home. Oh shit! Someone's actually here. Excuse me. Are you with the Undying? I am. And so, it would appear, are you. Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. Then I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill. Much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. You have seen them at their prayers, have you not? They devote themselves to the veneration of their Lord with a fervor I have never seen before praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their saviour's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. I too swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... it is different. It is more. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their Lord. Even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my Lord. They would cast aside their wills and become a Kashyyyk. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord, but I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. I'll go find out what. Stay here.
Beneath the flood. Oh no. There must be something I can do. Echoes as well. Found her. Ready, brother? Man. Hey guys, worship the fucking Ultima here in this. Whoa. Odin. He worship Ultima, god damn it. It doesn't matter. They're, they're already turned. They aren't, don't, aren't they? What now? Again. Motherfucker! Let Douglas move! God damn it, these bats are washing. Oh. Whoever it is, they summon these. It's their fault. Oh. 
damn it. Don't you die. Come on, speak to me. I had to save them. That they might have a chance to find true salvation. By devoting themselves to the service of their Lord. Just as I did. When the Undying plucked me from the gutter. And gave me a cause to believe in. A duty to serve was everything to me. And I would not deny them that fulfillment. Even if they must become Akashic in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your duty will be done. Ah. Look, my lord. They are saved. They are saved. Found that. I should get this report to Cyril. Look, I travel back here. What oh, fuck? He, we just found the guy. He just took him down. We're selling. Of course. Anything else? Come again. Is he? Yeah, he's in here. Cause I didn't see the, the, the green the green mark. My Lord Marquis, welcome back. I am glad to see you hale and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Thank you, my lord. He remained in Ash. He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm sorry that I couldn't save him. If you could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came, and their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live, even knowing that that life was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. A hero's end. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. A noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision is one's own. We live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, 
we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right? I believe... that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. And this was his will. The ultimate expression of it. <sighs> all right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the Undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. Ah, oh, shit. I could complete the belt. And they open up my mind. Hmm. Now they I have three more, I think. Yeah, three more. Three more to go. God damn. Then I have to find my fucking targets, my fucking bounties. God damn it. I don't even know where they are. Well, some, some a majority has to be here. I think I know where one is. That's not my target, is it? Let's go. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's not my target. It looked kind of weird. Uh, yeah, is there, oh, yeah, there is. Doris is waiting for me near Balmung Dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by Akashic. I need to hurry. Caution, brother. Uh, which one's that one? Nobody's tool. It came in true. Going this way. Let's go right. Yeah, yeah, it's here. That's these bastards. And we're here. I can walk from here. Oh, what's going on here? There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with Akashic. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? Bad enough to turn a bearer? I hope not. We're risking a lot just being here. But it... Wait, when did I get the key? Locked up tight. Oh. Can't go around. Well, let me just, uh... See. No. Hey! 
Okay, what are you? Olmog Nark, wits of the destination, the kingdom of Wall. Uh, everybody uh, designate the facility a prison for the containment of bearers, uh, both foreign and domestic. The purpose of this facility is to rear and train Kuza beasts for deployment in the field. Motherfucker! The purpose is to matter of strict uh, secrecy, and any mission therefore by be punished by death. Captain Barris hath been provided solely for the uh, pursuit of the aforementioned purpose. Express permission to require for the use of Barris in any other capacity. So this place was no ordinary prison. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. Fuck, the creature's still here. It has to be here. When the ether came, they must have ran away. the story okay the mission uh, concerning the kuza beast deployment the kuza has been recognized as a especially aggressive species this being the case it was hoped to the su successful deployment on the battlefield might be means of inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy in the exercise conducting thus far however the beast has been proven incapable of distinguish between allies and enemies combatants a such deployment uh, alongside regular troops is not recommended its purpose is said the bearers are uh, captive to be employed in order to draw enemies focus. And the beast then driven into the fray in order to achieve maximum benefits with the minimal loss of the Walud's lives. Or Waluders, I don't know what they Minimal loss of Walud lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Fuck. The good thing we killed the, the fucking king here. Tell me, bitch. Is this the key? Oh no, it's paper. Uh, cause the beast feeding. God damn it. Uh, recent supply uh, shortage left us the efficient uh resource to feed the kuza and trust to our care. Fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the barriers of the law. Uh, Assigned to find a sign uh, beside this mock battle and conducted part of his training. The beast was further observed to the to enter a state of invisible contentment upon fading in this way, suggesting that the lives uh, life bearers may even be preferred as source of sustenance. While this behavior is unexpected, it is now unwelcome. Bearers no longer uh, of use for training purpose can now be. Repurpose as a required. They were feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I'd feared. Nothing but a Kashik down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. Is there an upstairs? There is. How the fuck I get upstairs? Oh. I didn't know. Fucking bastards! I want to see this creature. What? What, what kind of kuza? Is it the, the fucking like the the, the lion or the tigerish? Oh. <laughs> Let's talk to her first. What the fuck? This is like fucking Stranger Things. This is like Stranger Things, damn it. Okay.
she ah oh. what happened no luck downstairs but i did find out that this place was more than just a prison something far more sinister was happening here i know i've been reading some of these documents and it can't be true can it bearers die every day in service of their masters but this this is so much worse Pitting bearers against a wild beast, armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but... the elderly, children, even. And those who wouldn't, or couldn't, were... disposed of. Whatever that means. I'm afraid... it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. But the question is, is the, is the creature still here? Like, I don't know, like patrolling the area. Or... If it's still in this fucking prison. Or it's in there and we can't see it. He said it's invisible. Oh, we're gonna go in here? Oh, she's gonna go down there. Give me this. Empty shard, what the fuck is that? Is that Joshua? It sounded like someone was knocking. Let's see what we can find down here. Ah, fuck. Amber. Someone's still alive? What the? Survivor. And she sounds close. What the hell? He's still alive. Who are you? There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards. They're still here. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> of course they were. Thank the Founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... Did... Jadwick send you? What? <laughs> he fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your sound, didn't he? You wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Was that? The monster's back. Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris. Keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer-eating bastard in the ground. Uh, I'm curious. It's, it's out there a, waiting for me. It's a behemoth! I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bearers. Motherfucker, it's a behemoth! They're trying to control this bastard? Fuck! What uh, Kusa. They name it Kusa. What the fuck the name is that name? What the fuck? They should name me Demon. God damn. You sorry, bitch. The Kuza Beast. 
It's a A. Is this fucker a bounty on me? A bounty I get? I didn't know that. The beast will wreak havoc if it ever leaves the prison. I can't let that happen. Why is this one blue? So weird. You so you bitch. You fucking deserve it. Fuck. I got his shackles. Finally. Sid, are you hurt? I'm fine, I think. <gasps> no. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. But I hear you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heidemarie. That's the man I remember. 
the man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. Fuck. I traveled back. I didn't mean to travel back, damn it. Oh, fuck it. I could complete some side quests. Alright. I could put some side quests, you know, like, uh, to complete it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Genji. The Genji. I want Genji. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Here's everything we've received and everything Here we promised. Here we go. If the drunken galley captain, I stay, uh, share it at the table with the last night to be, uh, believe word of your exploit has made its way across the seas of the great continent. What more is, is, is that she claims that there is those who can see your foolish or your flourish yourself being one of the such women. Give me this. There you are. Yeah, I need this. I, I don't care about that. Come again. <laughs> I don't care about I that. I have more for you. Let me see. Here we go. Increase damage dealt to enemies by 5%. By 5%. Which one do I not need? Increase the raging fist damage by 10%. Temporarily increase the attack persistently with each dodge. Increase the rate which dancing steel fills the. God damn it! You! No, I want to do more damage. Fuck. Okay. I got the Genji <laughs> Wait, why are you high loved or highlighted? Wait, what, what do you need? Don't tell me you have new monsters here. What the fuck is this? The monster born in the Balmog Dark. Wait. Possibly the deadliest people, uh, deadly, uh, deadliest beast known to man. Sid was there, uh, we beg you to slay it. Okay. Wait, there were two of them? There were two of them? A Wooluder army captures such beasts and try to train them to serve but this uh, particular specimen train has long since ceased whether it's captured uh captors turn akashic but the rest of their uh, comrades are were eaten by their pets when it broke free from its uh, bonds we should never know all we do know is that is that none left alive who knows the words of the put the end of the rampage only uh only it shows the force will suffer or suffice there's there it was two of them Fuck! God damn it. It has to be a Walu. You 
should have seen him. The thing didn't stand a chance. Welcome back, Sid. Welcome back, Sid. Yes. Welcome back. Trip wasn't too much of a pain in the ass, I hope. Truth be told, it was me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial. But from what I hear, things didn't go quite as planned. No, they most certainly did not. Fuck! <laughs> Should I? Yeah, well. Does Ember deserve the passing marks? If I give it to him, there's a likely chance he will fucking die. Yeah, no, he has to train more. When faced with an unexpected foe, Ember froze. He did not run. He did not fight. Had I not been there, he would be dead. It would be too great a risk to send him out on a mission alone. Thank you, Sid, for your honest appraisal. Ember, you braved the tower and emerged unscathed. Yes, but only because Sid saved your skin. To me, that's no better than being caught red-handed. You failed the test. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much to learn, it's true. And this time he was found wanting. But I'd say he's due a second chance, nonetheless. After all, he did do as you asked. With a bit of hard work, any hand can be made to hold a blade. And any mind can conquer its fears. But a scout's nose is different. You've either got one, or you ain't. And by sniffing out that log, young Ember here has shown he has a conch and a half. Wouldn't do to waste it now, would it? Fine. One more chance. I'll do whatever you ask. I'll spend my days and nights in the pit if I have to. I'll show you. Just you wait. Daft as a brush, that one. But his heart's in the right place. Just like someone else we know. And if you ask me, we've been leaning on him for far too long. That time the curse breakers took some of the weight off his shoulders, I reckon. It couldn't hurt. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will you? I won't have him thinking he's been hard done by. <laughs> Next thing you know, he'll be asking for a day off. <sighs> Chance would be a fine thing. Back to work. Forgive me, Sid. This did not play out as I expected. <laughs> Things rarely do these days. But that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. I, I will, Sid. Thank you. God damn it, we should have fucking fired him. 47, good, good, good. Alright, who else needs something about it? Alright, Uncle, I got what you want. Uncle, I bring good news. The field marshal has agreed to your plan. Ha! Of course he has! I didn't doubt you for a moment, dear boy. Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Port Azolder as we speak. They will await your return there. As will one other. One other? Who, exactly? Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord, he might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if I might have a solution. And I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate turned Liberator. One of your co-conspirators? Master Quinton would probably call me one of his. But yes. Another outlaw, then. Just the thing we need to put these rotten politicos in their places. Good thinking, Clive. I'm glad you approve. The more the merrier, eh? Uncle. Assuming Havel and Quinton can solve our problem with the armies, you still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain shortages. Oh, don't you worry, my boy. The seven high houses will be seeing to that. They have all agreed to make the most 
generous of donations. Of course, it did take a little persuasion, but luckily I had some unexpected help. From who? Why, you, my boy. Rumor has it that you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward, Rockford, from a horde of bloodthirsty bandits. It was more of a handful. Well, the old battleaxe was so pleased. She had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new moon. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Now, I must be getting back to the manor. Join us there at your earliest convenience, would you? Of course, Uncle. And how, pray tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with Akashic? You'll find another bloody road. I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. Oh, says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. <clears throat> if I may, gentlemen, perhaps I might suggest an alternative approach. Though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Indeed, they bob away in every bay from here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. Allow them to make port and fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed, ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. Two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? Friends? I can't stand the man! Clive, I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep. And what kind of company are you expecting him to keep? The man's a criminal! Criminal? How... how... Dare you! You are not fit to breathe the same air as this fine, upstanding young gentleman. Upstanding? He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw! Once more unto the breach. <sighs> Shall we begin again? What we seek here is not to create a new nation nor to claim the thrones of those that already exist. We wish simply to bring stability to the realm that mankind might weather the current storm. And to do that, we must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some resistance, much resistance. But we cannot let that deter us. If we show them the path, Show them that we walk it ourselves. Then I am confident they will follow. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands. But the well-being of her people lies in ours. And we must not squander the chance that Clive has given us. Uncle Byron, I... Now, with that settled, let's move on to the signing of the Accord. For what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you the Triunity. Rutherford, Mike Will. Well, my boy. The stage is set. That it is. This is the role you were born for. Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. We shall play our parts to the best of our abilities. That you might have the opportunity to shine. The realm needs its Sir Crandall. And there is no better Crandall than you. 
Clive, I uh, want you to keep this signed accord as proof of our faith in you. I will. Thank you, Uncle. God damn. What do you think that thing is? 